MC He dance imekuwa ya watu wa huku sasa tunakuja huku Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this week's edition of the Music Room Today we are in Bungoma County and we bring you the story of Stephen Wekesa Masinde popularly known as Steve K This is Moving Pictures Kenya telling stories from Africa and People know me by the stage name going uh, with Steve K uh, I'm a musician from Western Region, uh, Bungoma County. I was born in uh, Bungoma County, uh, in Bumula Sub County, and uh, Mwanda Village. Uh, I'm the last born, four family members. Uh, so my music journey has been uh, very long. Not really tough, but not really so. How did his music journey start? I started music when I was a young guy. Uh, just uh, identified uh, my talent when I was in primary. Because when I was in primary school, I used to be the choir master. I don't know how it came to be, but just teachers identified my talent. And they, you know, they tried to mold it, so they gave me a uh, a position in uh, CYC uh, in Christian Union so I was the, the the choir master for the school then from home I was also the choir master for the for the Catholic Church Catholic youth in Congoli primary that's when I was calling at um, was schooling at Snowia primary then later I joined Congoli primary so I was being the choir master of uh, Congoli Catholic Church so I was uh, really uh, ambitious with the the, 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 nini, the reception people gave me. And uh, you know, during our circumcision ceremonies, I was the soloist, was doing songs, was uh, uh, nini, so much engaged with the, 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 the backups from uh, village or local, and uh, sometimes I, I, I just feasted some areas where the ceremonies were held. And uh, I had to take some few people to come and give me backup. The time I could just start singing, you could see so many people behind me. And they were calling me uh, Munyala because the accent I was using to do my performances, singing, the accents, you could tell maybe I'm a Tachon or a Munyala. So they used to call me Omunyala.
initially Steve was a gospel musician and here he tells us about his gospel music journey and his first studio recording. There was a by-election uh, in Bungoma County between Moses Masika Wetangula and uh, Muskari Kombo. So there's a friend of mine who came to me and uh, asked me, by then I was doing gospel music. Uh, in the field of gospel music I was doing uh, praise and worship songs. I got a privilege to be invited in different occasions, conferences across the country, like in Migori, Isbania, Moshi, and uh, some parts of Kampala, and some parts of Eldoret, uh, Rift Valley, yeah? so because I attached to this area called Kericho. So I managed also to converse with uh, the popular musicians we shared stage like uh, with the with the Marahem Ben Bahati in Eldoret and in Kitale. I also shared the stage with Anastasia Mkabwa, Solomon Mkubwa, Gloria Murillo, and so many gospel artists. But by then, my name was not big. I was just someone to entertain people in church and conference. So uh, it came a time, God's time, when a friend of mine during the by-election he told me that you've been telling me that you, you're going to sing. You are a singer. You are a musician. Can I write you a uh, Wetangula history? Because the by-election is going to happen in Bungoma. I said yes, so that you go compose him a song. Then I, he, he gave me Wetangula's biography. Then I went to a studio. I recorded a song called Wetangula Kola. The, the song receptions to people was a surprise to me even. It was all over, it was all over to the lips of young men and young women in the village up there in uh, Bungoma County. So the by-election came, passed, but there's a friend of mine who posted on Facebook that if Wetangula is really a leader, there's a young man uh, who did a campaign song in a by-election. The young man is struggling on the streets. So there's a friend of mine called Dr. Walela uh, commented on a post that you're going to give that young man my number to come in Nairobi. So that is what it takes or what happens for me to be in Nairobi. He came uh, at uh, Dr. Walela's uh, residence in Kileshwa. And I was hosted in Kileleshwa and uh, after like uh, two months, the Chari was able to get me money to record the video of the song Wetangula. Then that is when we came into connection with Weekly Fwangamati, who is the governor Bungoma County. Then uh, they assisted me with Dr. Walela and uh, uh, I went in a studio here in Nairobi, Simba Center. I recorded my first music called Wambumuli. It was famous all over. The radio stations, our local radio stations and even Royal Media was playing the song almost 50 times a day because the requests were so high. <laughs>
So, what is the message in the song Wambumuli? Uh, this song, majorly, I was talking about uh, cor corruption in entire Western region, like the corruption has resulted to collapse of pan pepper and mere sugar and soya. So there's some so many factories that were there but they elapses. So I was referring that people with suits people with suits are the reason to why our factories or our plants in Western region have elapsed. So the song reception was so good to people. And uh, I recorded now an album that was 2014. Uh, then the same Dr. Walela introduces, uh, introduced me to a friend called uh, Dennis Machio. So Machio introduced me to a friend called Dominic Haemba, the music producer. Then we did Bombo Has Now. It took me like a. Uh, like about uh, three months doing audio because we could go to studio, record the music, then go sit somewhere, listen it with Machio and there's a friend called uh, Toyo David. So then we could tell or they could tell where the, 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 the song, the tune is not going right. You see, now we could now get back to studio and uh, do some corrections for the audio to be good. So thereafter we finished the audio, then it took us like eight months working on a video. So we did the video with Machio and it came out, it came out one of the best uh, videos in Western region, not only in Western, but in Kenya. So that is when uh, Steve K, <coughs> Yeah, Ali Pandangazi. <laughs>
tell us about Steve K. How did the name Steve K come about? So Steve K, uh, me, uh, my parents, my, I, uh, my father died uh, when I was a young guy. So the, the same, same month I was born, there's a friend who was working with, uh, with, uh, with my father called Keith. So my father told me, told my mother that this is just Keith. So the word K comes from Keith. Uh, when my father died in 1996, when I was very young, uh, the family of Keith came to control with us. Then they also confirmed the name that this young man is called Kansai Keith. So we settled on Keith because my mother had already put, uh, given me a name, uh, Steve. So that is when some people, so uh, most of people ask me that uh, if I have a family or something. I have a family, I have a, a wife and four kids, uh, Pravi, Dari, uh, JP and uh, Brighton. So I'm a father. So now tell us about your music journey. Is it something that was uh, in the family or is it just a talent you acquired? Maybe, let me say, this is a, just a talent I acquired from God, God-given, you know. Because I cannot tell uh, that there's a member in our family who used to sing. And uh, the music journey itself, it has been not so soft. It has so many challenges. Because you could go to an event somewhere, you signed a contract, then there's this payment things. Someone switches off the phone after the show or something. So it is something that has been a, really a problem, not only on me, but so many musicians are crying, you know. And um, sometimes you could organize a show uh, you go at the venue, when you reach you get things are not working, there's no PA system and you know on contract form maybe you, you've signed that the, the client will provide. So the fans are ready at the venue but there's no PA system and for us we cannot perform without PA system because we have uh, taken Luya music to the extent to the, to the level that many people could not uh, imagine that it will reach there. We have digitalized some things. Although some things we use it them because it is our culture like Litungu, we can't leave it. But you know we are mixing Litungu, guitar and shakers and a keyboard. <laughs>
Okay, and then you mentioned uh, having traveled to Uganda and uh, also to Moshi. Are there other countries you visited because of music? Yeah, uh, because you know, uh, I traveled to Moshi, Isbania, and Tanga in Tanzania. Then I had privilege to visit, uh, to go and perform in Kampala with Jose Chameleon, Eddie Kenzo, and uh, I, I also visited uh, Mbale town. Uh, we had a function there, a cultural function, several times. And uh, I also uh, visited some parts of, uh, of uh, Somalia. We had a function over there and Sudan, Southern Sudan. So last year, last year but one, we were to go to diaspora in Germany, California, Texas, and uh, Ohio. And you know, Corona came. They had already uh, sent me a visa, but Corona came immediately, so we closed the book. But we, we are looking forward because we are still in connection, in contact with the people, organizers out there. So maybe next year, probably next year, we shall be maybe uh, in those sides. Yeah. So what is your message to the diaspora fans? Because I know they get an opportunity to... I want to tell people from diaspora that Steve K is coming. And I really appreciate some few friends from diaspora who always you know i i just wake up in the morning get messages from diaspora get messages uh, in my mpesa from sendwave that someone has sent you money someone has sent you money i want to congratulate you for supporting the consistent uh, support that you've been giving me so i want to tell you that you go to my channel and subscribe on YouTube. That is the only way you can be of uh, importance to my band and me personally. of music because you've told me you came from a, a poor background how has music been beneficial to you music has really changed my life because by then i was uh, uh, a broker in the market I was just uh, uh, trying to help some people who sells clothes yeah <laughs> so that when when he, he someone tells you he has a shirt like this one and he's selling a shirt a hundred thousand or maybe uh, 1,000. So if you try and convince a customer and sell this shirt at uh, 1,100, the 100 is yours. So then I was doing Mujengo, you know, and uh, I had no a house. I could not imagine if one day I'll be in Nairobi, like today, if I will maybe drive or something. But you know, today I'm... Um, I'm able to pay my bills. I'm able to travel any place I want. I'm able to drive around myself with my car. I stay good life. I have uh, done so many investments that I could not imagine. Even if I could have been maybe schooled or something, uh, maybe to get what I have today, or to get who I am today, I don't imagine. So music is money. If you take music, 
as a talent and you take it at the same time as an office, you will go far. But if you take it as a, just music to entertain people from local breweries, then it will be end of you. Okay, and then I know there are so many musicians out there who are doing their thing. Is there any musician you wish that uh, I wish I could be like him? Is there any mus musician who inspires you? Me, from uh, when I was a young uh, man, I admired only one musician, the late Lucky Dube. You know, I was watching the videos the way he was doing live bands. So I just admired Lucky Dube. But today, today, I admire how, uh, maybe I can say how Diamond does and Jose Chameleon. You know, I love most Jose Chameleon and Diamond because from the history we used to listen the songs from Jose Chameleon. So I admire sometimes how he does his live shows and maybe Diamond part of it. Okay, and then I know you normally perform in different functions. Maybe you can tell us what kind of functions you perform in and uh, what kind of music you play in these functions. So we, we, we perform occasionally on different functions. We do live performance. For me, I don't do playback. I do live music. So I have a band of nine members plus me is ten, including dancers and instrumentalists. Uh, we do perform in maybe restaurant, and we do perform in weddings. We do perform in um, maybe let me say uh, birthdays, and we do perform in maybe sometimes political rallies because you know you also. Uh, look where you will get or you will harvest big. So in all functions that needs uh, maybe let's say entertainment we are there for them and sometimes we go where people are majority are not lawyers so my band has trained uh, some Zilizopendwa songs and some Lingala songs so sometimes we usher in for those who are not lawyers. Tell us, if somebody wanted to assist Steve K, what kind of assistance or support do you require from people? As per now, uh, far and foremost, uh, what we need most is prayer. When people pray for us, we will reach far and we will go far. But there's some people who pray and they give you financial support, like money, or maybe studio equipment, cameras, and whatever. We, our, our doors are open for those, for any help, any kind of support that uh, people could wish to give us. Yeah. We are in a, a generation of collabs. I don't know whether there is, you are planning something like collaborating with somebody. So many of them. We've done so many collabs with our local musicians and local musicians from other tribes out there, the Luos and Campers. Although we, we've not uh, reached the point to get the music to the uh, market because we are working on videos. We, have also, uh, uh, pri we are also privileged to, uh, to tell our fans that we are doing collabs with South Soul we are doing collabs with so many people. Yeah.
If you love this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Moving Pictures Kenya, telling stories from Africa.